Do you own the copyright to your logo? Hello Splash Universe, I'm Derek Haney and thanks for joining me for another episode of Splash U Small Business Tips where I help small business owners, marketers, and entrepreneurs grow their business every single day. Today I want to talk about a little bit of a lesser known copyright rule that tends to exist when you get a copywriter logo. By the way, this is the Unbounce shirt. The guys at Unbounce are really awesome and their product is uh, is amazing for testing, uh, A-B testing on landing pages and creating dedicated landing pages. Definitely recommend Unbounce. Not sponsored by them or anything. Just happen to be wearing their shirt today. Go Unbounce. Uh, the, what I want to talk about with your logo or your graphic is that when you hire somebody to design your logo, unless it specifically says in a contract with them that you are going to take full ownership of that logo, there's probably, uh, they probably have rights to ownership of that logo. So if you put that on a t-shirt and you start selling that t-shirt, they are entitled to royalties and can sue you if you do not provide proper uh, documentation of the, the income and give them access or the option to exercise their right for those royalties. So you need to, when you're creating your own logo and you really want it to be your own and you own it and you're just trying to hire a graphic designer freelancer, you have to negotiate in the contract what that means to take full ownership of it and they have to relinquish 100% of their copyright uh, rights, otherwise they will ha have that entitlement. Or if you do, you know, you don't think you're going to sell your logo, it's just your brand image and there's not going to be a lot of use for having the full copyright ownership of it, then it is okay to say, yes, if we ever sell anything in the future, we will give you a percentage of it. But if we give it out, it's totally fine. Um, and there's also rules and rights to how you can modify it. So if it's like this in a white circle, there might be a rule where, you know, putting the line across this way might break some sort of um, copyright infringement with the original designer of this logo because they, uh, they said that, that you don't have a right to modify the logo. You only have a right to use the logo. And that all comes up in the agreement you make with your graphic designer, branding specialist, uh, agency, whoever is making this logo for you. So it's important to understand those rights right off the bat. Otherwise, you can be facing a lawsuit later on that you didn't expect, you didn't know about, you thought you'd paid them. You know, I paid them for the logo. What's the big deal? Well, you get you paid them so you can use something that they created in certain ways, but not other ways. And that's how copyright law works in America. By the way, you don't have to file for a copyright or a patent or a trademark to have a copyright on something that you created. Copyright law exists naturally. Once you've created a piece of content, a book or a logo or a website and it, you've published it, you have the rights to ownership of that unless you've expressly released those rights using a Creative Commons uh, rule or, or statement saying that it's okay for others to use or share what you've created. So you have the right to shut down other people that are using that um, you generally, if you, you, the first thing you do is you would tell them, hey, I, you know, I own the rights to that, can you please take it down? If they ignore you or don't listen, then you probably are going to want to file for the copyright itself to get the guaranteed in paper, I own this uh, documentation before going to court. But you can take them to court just on merit alone as long as you have your own documents showing I created this this is my creation, solely my creation, this is when I created it, and this is when, you know, after that time is when they started using it, and maybe there's also a way to directly link that they took it from directly from your page or website, or it's the exact matching thing. So uh, there are ways to kind of prove that it's yours, but you have to be able to have that proof, the burden of proof is on you to provide all that necessary documentation so that the court can say, okay, this guy is stealing your stuff and we're going to uh, force him to cease and desist, force him to take it down, force him to pay you a royalty, et cetera, et cetera. So that is my two cents on branding and copyright law. And I really hope that helps you when you create your uh, logo, your image, your ad, whatever the case is when you're hiring someone to do work for you. Make sure you've got the exact terms that you want in that contract. And also understand the graphic designers do not like to give up their copyright, their rights to 
a uh, to a logo or something without added financial incentive generally. So that you you kind of need to buy them out or leave them in and make it specific to when they'd get royalties or how or where. That's it for me. If you learned anything in this episode, please check out the other episodes or subscribe below. Uh, leave a comment if you uh, have had issues with this in the past or if you still have more questions, just let me know. I am at Six Peppers, S-I-X-P-E-P-P-E-R-S on Twitter and our business site is at Splash O-P-M and you can go there to find uh, more information for small business owners, marketers, and entrepreneurs. We do a great job of finding the best articles online and throwing them up there on our Twitter feed on a daily basis. That's it for me. Thanks so much. This is Derek from Splash U, Small Business Tips. I'll see you guys next time.